Uh, so we're starting our day, as you know, from Valdez, where we ended our video last time. I'm sure you know about our site, but we didn't show last time. Is that right over here, just past the Class A, is this insanely awesome glacier. Pretty sure this is Valdez Glacier. I think maybe it comes from over there, or over there, one of the two. But either way, this is an epic view. Man, it's one of those places where there's just no words. No words for this. Talk about a really cool playground for kids. <laughs> they are loving this. And apparently one of them got dared to jump in, so I think he's about to get in the water. So I don't know if it's gonna clear up while we're in Valdez, but uh, man, I've heard there's some pretty awesome mountains right around here too. We could see the tip of this yesterday. We'll Maybe that's him. the- We'll see him one day. One day, yeah. This storm system's supposed to linger for about a week. So I don't know if that'll work for us or not. Dip down. If I see your back or anything, I'm gonna go back in. So the parents are saying he has to go all the way under for it to count. Is it cold out here? <laughs> Look what he's about to do. He's about to go under the water. Isn't that crazy? Let's not do what he does. Yeah, no thank you. That's Marissa Moss. What are you doing out here? You know it's not 70.5 degrees. <laughs> Did not think she would come out of the RV. <laughs> we are cooking the propane. <laughs> Yay! But rainy days with RVing, if we're in a city, we'll go to like a children's museum or excuse to go shopping. But when you're like in Valdez, where it's a tiny city and everything's outdoors, you're watching Elmo playing in a... Is that an accordion? <laughs> no, this is not an accordion. Well, what's yours? Um, I thought it's a tuba. Uh, is it a tuba? Yeah. It's a tuba. So that's what we're doing, finding our someday. Corey just got this grill, which looks awesome. Some sort of a smoker. I've never been interested in that much in cooking until I saw that this has Wi-Fi on it, where apparently you can, yeah, you can tell not only the temperature of the inside of the grill, but the temperature of the meat, and you can control all that from across town or anywhere as long as you've got Wi-Fi that's connected to it. So that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. I'm not big on cooking. Yeah, we just need to park next to somebody who does yeah. like this to has cook. been. Yeah, this has been a really good <laughs> partnership. Corey loves to cook. We love to eat. It's awesome. Hensley loves to provide the entertainment. What's it doing right now? The auger's moving. I just texted Chris to see if that was their normal auger noise. Because that okay. seems a little loud. It's a Davy Crockett? Is that the company? No, it's a Green Mountain Grill. It's Davy oh. Crockett, his model number timer and a flashlight like built into the app which is i think pretty cool i set it for 30 minutes for the initial burn off to you know cook anything off from manufacturing this is this just feels wrong <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> where, where did the days go where you had a fire and then like you had a you know you shish kebobbed it on a stick above the flames yeah. and no there's no guesswork here we're getting it done you got your pellets you put your pellets in yeah, rabbit food, rabbit whatever. Food in yes. there. So you're gonna use some electric at the beginning, but then after that, it's very little. I think about 15 watts. Okay. Okay. And after that, it's just mainly using the pellets and the heat to just smoke it. Yeah. I don't put the awning out very often. Um, I guess a couple of reasons. One is it takes me, I mean, it's not a crazy amount of time, 10 minutes to get it out, something like that. And then uh, number two is that, I mean, this is a long awning. And so if the wind's bad, if the rain's heavy, I gotta get it in, and it's a pain to get this in with one person if the wind's bad. You gotta like release one bar at a time, then work your way over toward the middle, and so rather than mess with it, I usually don't get it out. But this situation where it's just light drizzle, and we've almost got our awnings working together, we got this one tiny little gap <laughs> where we gotta walk in the rain if we go from rig to rig. Otherwise, pretty cool that we got this side by side pretty much. First things first, what's what's up with your cat? Like what's going on here? Why is it wearing your underwear? Because it's closed. 
<laughs> Did it get cold or something? It get cold. <laughs> so we're loading up. We figure we actually have around two hours of not rain. We still don't have any sunlight. <laughs> I'm getting like one to two amps of solar in. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the batteries, I mean, we've been going, I, I've had this mindset, we're just gonna go full out on everything we do, no conservation whatsoever. So it's been about four days, I think, with pretty much no charging, and we're finally below 50% on our lithium. So I know we got two or three more days left at least. But yeah, if we don't start getting some sun, I might have to whip the generator out for the first time in Alaska. We'll see. But for the first time in like four days, it's not raining. So we're gonna take advantage of that and go check some stuff out. Hensley. Come on, let's go. One last splash, huh? <laughs> Hensley. Look at all these fish. Look at all those. Wow. I those. I those fish. Crazy. It's like more fish than Alaska knows. What to do with it. Wow. And we're, there's a hatchery here, so that's why you're going to get a lot more fish as well and bear activity. <laughs> Look at all these seagulls. <laughs> you going to get pictures of the bear, Hensley? She's taking it with my phone. Are you ready? I've heard they're out here. Yes, this almost seems like cheating, but apparently at the right time of year, in the right spot, I mean, we're just straight off the road <laughs> but you can just pull off the side of the road and we know some people that already been waiting here taking pictures and uh, they said they've already seen like four black bear and you just wait for the bear they come out they get the fish while they're getting the fish you snap your pictures they go back in the woods but uh, you've got the water and the wood separating you from the bears and where they're at and i mean typically if, if a bear is a full bear it's a happy bear you know i got our bear spray but it's not as dangerous of a situation as like a starving bear with cubs out in the middle of nowhere that you startle going down a trail kind of deal. <laughs> so just kind of waiting around. Uh, hopefully we'll see some bears. So apparently, we got here 30 minutes earlier. There were like half a dozen bears out here. If a bear's attacking you, give us a call because when we get here, it'll be gone. But if you want us to take photography of bears or anything like that, like don't call us because they'll be gone. Anyways, just. Oh no. We'll see. We'll just have to try again. It's a reason to come back, right? Is that what we say? Yeah. Oh, uh, look at all that. What is that? A fish. It's a fish? Yeah. Did you put a tail on it? What's this here? Yeah. It's a tail. So these are Alaskan seagulls. I don't know if that's the technical term. I just coined it. <laughs> but they've got the right idea. So they're they're flying up. They're riding the waves down. And then they just keep like cycling through. Kind of like a lazy river. And yeah. They're like riding the <laughs> waves. And then they're flying back and re-riding the waves. Woo! According to the video on this very fancy screen they've got, this is the largest hatchery for a single species in North America. These salmon want to swim upstream. And so they're bringing them in here, they're coming up here, and then once they're inside, they're getting the eggs uh, from the salmon once they're in there. Yeah, that was our heat on. Marissa's freezing. Um, she's freezing and she's craving hot dogs. It's... <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything that I can tolerate. 
Okay, so hot dogs are what aren't going to make her sick and hopefully give her substance. But well, now you're just talking about it. I don't know. It's a great area. This is a beautiful town. Oh my! It's one of those towns where you were like driving around, like, oh my goodness, people see this every day. I wonder how they feel about this. It's just so lush and green uh, and. Somebody they, said it feels like Hawaii. That it, had been that had been to Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to rank cities, but like, I, I think it's worth it to drive down here already from what I've seen. Yeah, it's a little out of the way. Yeah. But. It's just gorgeous scenery, and there's wildlife cruises mm -hmm. from out of here. And, oh, are there? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know there's that much. It doesn't feel as touristy as like Homer and Seward mm -hmm. to me. But. Well, this is a little bit more off the beaten path. Yeah. So you have to kind of go out of your way to get here, but it's definitely worth it. It's beautiful. We're going to start working on some hot dogs or something, I think. <laughs> <laughs> definitely worth the the first part this being sick i had forgotten how rough this was so don't go to a fish hatchery yeah that didn't go well today she was not out there too long so <laughs> pro tip <laughs> so we're we're we did not like we were not like bouncing around traveling this much last time she was pregnant so she didn't have to experience so many new smells and sights and usually that's great the stimulation but now it's we're surprised it's heightened and yeah. i mean you might not want the smell of dead fish heightened when you're <laughs> pregnant, but <laughs> well, it was still fun. It was awesome, but yeah, we're not having fish tonight. I do no, know that, but uh, we're gonna get something ready for dinner. Fish ever again. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have something for dinner. Uh, we're gonna enjoy this view, and we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>